These are the Vans Skate Sports, and these could be the most underrated shoe that Vans makes right now. These were one of the shoes that was upgraded from the Vans Pro range to the Vans Skate range back in 2021, alongside the Errors, Authentic, Slip-Ons, and Old Schools. So these also have a deeper and thicker tread with a heel plate under the sole for extra impact protection, the upgraded six thick rubber sidewalls, reinforced Duracap layer under the whole front here, and internal tongue straps to keep your tongue centered and your heel fitting snug inside of the shoe. This shoe has a retro 90s silhouette with the minimal toe box, the vintage V on the side, and the old Vans logo here on the tongue. Having the toe box set up like this should help reduce the wear because there's no stitching in the way here, and having the sidewalls come up even higher is definitely going to help with flip tricks. So if these shoes were part of the Skate Classics upgrade where they're supposed to be more comfortable and durable, why is no one talking about this specific shoe and why do I never see anyone skating these? Normally I would just assume that these shoes must suck because I don't see anyone skating them and I never hear about them. But I skated the pro version of this shoe before it was upgraded to the skate version and they actually skated really well. And I picked this pair of shoes up for only $60 Australian. So if this upgraded version of the skate sports are just as good as the rest of the upgraded classic range, then I might have just found the most underrated shoe that Vans is making and I can get these for less than half of the price of the rest of the classic range. But like I said, I have never skated this version of the shoe before. So we're gonna have to head out to the skate park and test these out before making making that call. So let's head to the park. I'm getting carried away skating too much and getting into the session, but I honestly didn't even realize I had new shoes on. These wore in instantly and they feel comfortable straight away. So there's nothing notable, no wear and tear yet, but I've only been skating for about 30 minutes. They feel comfortable, the board feel is good, but the only thing I've realized is I was trying to do some switch heels on the bank before, and because this foxing tape on the side comes up so high, my switch heels were like turning into a switch back heel almost, or a switch shifty heel. I couldn't really figure that out how to slow the flip down, but that was only the first kind of test of flip tricks I did, and it was flipping super good almost too good but James is skating the bank to ledge behind me and I've actually never skated that thing here so I'm going to try and skate that with him get a few tricks on that because I've never skated it before but then I want to kind of get into some flip tricks and see if I can figure out how to time my flips because of how much rubber is here but they are feeling good so far so let's get back into the session <laughs> Back up. Ooh, we'll take that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I popped it. I don't usually pop it like that, so I think I'll take that one. Man, I really need to work on my flip tricks. I haven't worked on them for a long time and I haven't done a switch tray since the last time I rode the 10.75 the inch wide boy, which was months ago. So the flick on these shoes are amazing, especially because that rubber comes up so high. So the rubber catches your flip tricks when you're doing the kick flips and then the heel flips as well. My regular heel flips suck. I don't know why, but I can switch heel and nollie heel so much better. But all the flip tricks I did, all the kick flips, heel flips, tray flips, it didn't take me that long. The only thing that took me the longest was the switch tray, which was so hard. So that's a sign that I 
I should start working on my flip tricks a bit more, but to be honest, I just don't have a lot of fun doing flip tricks. Like tonight, it just took me so long to do a switch tray when I could have just skated some of the ledges or the rails or something. But update on the shoes, they wore in straight away. They were comfortable straight away. The board feels amazing. The flick is really good. I haven't tested any impact support, but I'm not really gonna do that here. There's nothing really to do. Plus I don't feel like jumping down stuff, but my feet don't hurt. I've been skating a lot tonight and that's a massive win for these shoes, being brand new and being able to break in and be comfortable straight away and still not hurt my feet after how long I've been skating tonight. The only thing I will note is these feel a lot less supportive because in the slip-ons I've been riding recently, I've had footprint insoles in them and these have their standard ultra cush insoles, which isn't bad, but they feel a lot softer and less supportive because I've been skating the footprint insoles. But these shoes have been so good tonight that I've already found another pair for 60 bucks that I'm gonna cop next week because for how good these are skating and they only cost me $60, I'm definitely gonna keep skating these if I can get them for $60 on sale compared to the rest of the classics range. So these are built with the same construction and upgrade from the Skate Pro range to the Skate Classics. And these look sick for only $60. So why wouldn't I keep skating these? So to answer the question of this video, in my opinion, yes, these are the most underrated skate shoes that Vans are making right now. And if you guys like Vans and you don't want to pay full price because the rest of the Classic range is pretty expensive, then I definitely recommend you checking out the Vans Skate Sports because they've been sick and you're going to see me wearing these a lot, especially because I'm buying another pair next week. So if you enjoyed this video, check out the Vans Skate Slip on review I did right here. Those ones are 130, like I said, and they're a lot harder to wear in and make them become comfortable enough to skate, for me anyway. But check that video out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.